Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, this is going to be a really short one. Basically, I'm just going to be going through all of my settings, such as my scents, my shaders, FOV, macro, and how to get a better FPS and better ping as well. Uh, I'm mainly doing this video because I see pretty much in every single video, there's loads of comments asking about specific settings. And I always get a load of DMs on Discord asking about settings as well. So I just made a poll in my Discord, make sure to join. And people just said that they wanted me to make a video because it'd be so much easier. So here's the video for everyone. So first off, I'm going to speak about my shaders. I get a lot of questions asking about what shaders I use. So for example, I use uh, Rose Shade uh, shaders. I will leave them uh, in the link in the description. But the in-game settings that I use for them, I only use Adaptive Fog, Reflect reflective bump mapping technicolor 2 and vibrance um these three here are just set as default but for adaptive fog um i think it is preset to like 400 i think but i just play on zero because it makes it look better so they just play on zero on adaptive fog and that's it for the shaders um here's a little comparison with and without so this is without you can just see how I'm not sure how it's going to look on video, but you can just see how dull and dark it looks. It looks pretty boring, but here's with the shaders. There you go. You can see a big difference. It just makes everything pop out more and make it way more colorful. Um, this will decrease your shape, your FPS just a little bit. It depends on how good your computer or like laptop is, but it won't decrease it. So it's unplayable. The next thing that I'm going to be speaking about is my FOV. I get loads of questions asking about what my FOV is. So about 95% of the time I play on FOV 80, but sometimes I do play on 85. I kind of float between 80 and 85, but I mainly use 80. So quickly moving on to um, my scent. So this is probably the most questioned. This is the most popular question, which I get, which I get asked. So my sense is 0.06, uh, 800 DPI. Uh, to a lot of people, this is really, really, really slow. But pretty much my whole life, I've played FPS games such as like Valorant and like Call of Duty on, on slow FPS sense. Um, but I just find it easier to like trace and like... Um, what am I, I, why, why can I not speak? I find it easier to trace and like airshot, for example, because say someone's jumping all you've got to do is that but if you're on high sense then you kind of just flick way too high but yeah i definitely recommend using a, a, a lower sense because i always find it so much easier to trace but um oh, i'm also gonna leave uh, a link to in the description to a game that i play which helps uh tracing and like air shotting and stuff like that so here's a picture of it now but uh, I 100% recommend using it because I use it pretty much every day before I start a video just to warm up my aim. Okay, so moving on to the second, not the second thing, we're on like, moving on to the next thing. Um, it's going to be my macro. So basically I don't have like a Logitech mouse or a Razer mouse or anything like that. Okay, so I just use TG macro. Um, this, you have to make your own macro, but uh, in in my Discord, in my settings, there is a settings panel. Basically, if you tap on it, you can download my macro here. All you've got to do is download it and you have to go file open and then put my macro in here. And then all you've got to do is click enable and that's it. And you're, the macro is done. Um, it's not as fast as like Razer mouses or like Logitech mouses, but I think it's more than fine for me because if I use like a razor mouse, well, I've never used them, but my, some of my friends have them and they say they're just way too quick and too hard to like control. But for example, as you can see, my is fine. The only downside uh, with this macro is that I, you can't really do the lay down macro. So this is like as fast as it goes. People say it's because FPS, but I'm on like 400 FPS. So I don't really know why the lay down macro doesn't work. But it does work. So, for example, if I had someone in my hand, then I laid down, it would work fine. But that's the only downside that the backwards macro doesn't really work that well. So moving on to the last step, 
it is going to be how to get better fps so for example i play on low gfx and i 100 percent recommend playing on low GF <coughs> gfx um it just boosts your fps and it also i think it makes the game look better than just this so i don't like using this but i 100 percent recommend using low gfx also that my second step to get better fps is i use i recommend using two some people like play on max and people always say why is my graphics i mean people always say like why is my fps so low this is the this is the reason why i was on 400 fps a second ago and i can't even get over 200 right now it does make the game look really good but you don't you don't really need the game to look good you know so i always play on two and i definitely recommend playing on two this is mainly because um for example what i can see right now if i'm raiding right now and people are at rev i can see if someone's at rev or i can just see if someone's like quite far down here but some people say like playing on one is the best like it's good for fps but look i can't see if anyone's at rev or i can't really see if anyone's behind me so that's the disadvantage definitely recommend play playing on two graphics but if you really 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 need the fps then just play on one and also my last step to getting fps better fps is definitely playing with roblox fps unlocker if you don't have this installed it basically unlocks your fps so roblox caps your frames at 60 for some reason i'm i'm not sure why they do it but they do if you do not have this installed it will be in the link in the description but i 100 percent recommend using this this is the best way to get better fps it's 100 percent free you know virus free all you've got to do is download it open it up and select your like fps which you want to go to i just have mine on unlock so it just goes above it just goes to max pretty much but this it will also depend on whereabouts you are in the map so for example where i'm at bank i'm getting around 300 but if i go uphill i get around like 450 it's just because there's less people and less like things up here so if i go all the way over here i'm at like 420 460 so that's the main thing okay one last thing which i want to mention that i get a couple of questions asking um it's mainly uh how my ping is so low for example you, you see it's at like 35 33 it's anywhere usually between around 25 to 40 is my average it's mainly because i just have pretty good wi-fi and uh, i also 100 percent recommend using ethernet um, I didn't use Ethernet and I used to get around 60, 70 ping. But as soon as I plugged in my Ethernet, it went pretty much straight down to, you know, 30, 40s. And it also depends on whereabouts you are and just like, you know, your server and stuff like that. But the main thing is definitely I recommend getting good Wi-Fi and 100% use an Ethernet. That's going to be it for today's video. If any of you guys need any help with like the macro, the, my sense or like my fov or anything to do with like the shaders then either comment down in the description and i will respond to every single one or just join the discord or just dm me on discord and it'll be much quicker if you do it that way because i'm way more active on there that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace